How's it going out there, guys? Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> we're back, and uh, this time we've got uh, Ryan Macbeth here, and uh, he's going to tell us why uh, stop loss really isn't that big of a deal. So, uh, hey, Ryan, go ahead and uh, take it away, please. Stop flipping out about Operation Atlantic Resolve. I woke up today with a hangover and about 50,000 direct messages and tweets about Operation Atlantic Resolve. Really? You woke up with a hangover? Um, hey, buddy, can you do us a favor, please, and uh, stop trying to look like Raul Duke from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Um, we, we can see your hand with the phone in, in your hand through the, your aviators. We, we know you don't have a tripod. We know that you're doing this by yourself. You don't need to broadcast it to the world. Um, come on, man. You, you know better. And the memes have already started. And people are saying it's the start of World War Three. Guys, it's a yearly exercise. It's a fun time. We get to play. Wait, it's yearly? I I literally never remember anything called Atlantic Resolve when I was in. Like the Latvians and the Germans and the Lithuanians. and We've been doing it since 2014. And ah, that makes sense. 2014. Because, as everyone knows, the very first, uh, not Reforger, but the very first Atlantic Resolve was actually called Euromaiden. It's like a yearly thing. We did it during the Trump administration. In 2017 and 2018. Uh, buddy, you're not really doing anything to prove your point by showing that we continued to do it after 2014. Um, this, this doesn't show or do us anything. Come outside with me, I need to wake up. And the reason they're using reservists, like the 286th Ordnance Company, isn't because we're going to fight World War III, it's because the Army has specialties in things like moving people by rail or logistics that they only keep in the reserves because they don't need them all that often. If you're Keep them in the reserves? Um, no, buddy, actually a rail crewman is uh, specifically for the uh, National Guard. Uh, I believe that the only way you can get that MOS is if you are in the National Guard. And we do that specifically because the only time they're any kind of useful is during national disasters. Uh, not exactly sure why we're sending a bunch of fucking, as you call it, rail guys, when we know it's not rail guys. We know it's mainly fucking helicopter pilots for the Army and, you know, air, uh, plane pilots for the Air Force. Those are the two main critical need MOSs that are... Getting uh, stop lost right now, as as far as we know, uh, from the information we've gathered. But uh, con please continue, Ryan. Why why do they do this? Age or older, you probably remember Reforger. No, oh, I do. not this Reforger. This Reforger. Yep. Reforger was just an exercise on how fast we could return forces to Germany. This is just an exercise on the same thing, and we've been doing it since 2014. Stop flip. Wow. So his whole deal is, is that you don't need to worry about an IIR activation, guys who were out of the fucking military, brought back in due to fucking needs, and you don't need to fucking worry about this because, oh, it's just a bunch of fucking rail guys. You know, you know, Ryan, you know why everyone's freaking out over this? It's because this is the first time we've had to do something like this since we invaded Iraq. All right. Literally, when we started the buildup of forces in Kuwait, we started to do the IIR activation. All right. Now, could this be a, I don't know, a canary in the coal mine for World War III? Possibly. I don't really think it is either. But at the same time, you cannot say it is not somewhat concerning due to the fact that we have to reactivate 400 dudes who were out of the military. And put them back in because we don't have the personnel available to fill those spots in the active force. All right. That's why everyone's getting freaked out over this, Ryan. It's not because of the fucking reservists. Hell, because of all the fucking January 6th shit we've been put through and had forced down our throat, we know for a fact that the fucking guard can be nationalized during a time of fucking crisis. And federalized. Hell, we've known that since the fucking... The Kent School shit back in the 60s. Alright? So, you fucking sitting here just trying to hand wave this as, as you know, a, a non-sequitur, a non-issue, this, that, and everything else. I'm sorry, dude. Th this is another one of those 
things that I take issue with from uh, people who claim to be fucking veterans that say dumb shit like this. All right. How about you go and you tell those 400 people's families that, oh, no, it ain't a big deal. They'll be back. You know, it it ain't like there's a fucking active war going on in Ukraine right now. He's going to be back. You don't fucking know. You really don't. Like, why do they have to fucking go back when they've already fucking served out their fucking contract and fucking do something that they really didn't need to fucking do? Like, explain that to me. All right. And I'll even ask the issue this. Why why are we in such fucking dire need of fucking personnel that we need to reactivate 400 fucking dudes who just got out? Maybe it's because we don't have the fucking personnel available in the active fucking component because recruiting is shot. And you're wanting to fucking come up here and put up videos of fucking guys in fucking Yugoslavia fucking putting up fucking strong ass words like, oh, we, we, we can't have this. We can't have this. Like, dude, all he fucking did over there in Yugoslavia was talk to some fucking cameras after a fucking shooting. The police do it all the fucking time in George Floyd Square in Minneapolis, buddy. They, they, that officer didn't fucking do anything. All right. And you're fucking sitting here trying to fucking say that the state of the army is healthy. Nah, dude, the state of the army is not healthy when you have to fucking get 400 fucking dudes who just fucking left that just want to move on with their fucking lives and you're forcing them to fuck back in. All right. That is not the sign of a healthy fucking military. All right. I know I said I was going to try and make this quick and I'm going to cut it off right there because if I keep going, I'm going to just keep going on tangents. All right. Ryan McBeth, you're a fucking shitbag. Just want to let you know.